becoming more and more common. Phoenix-based pediatrician Dr. Gary Kirkulis is talking about an alarming trend. Fentanyl overdoses in children are on the rise. That one pill can kill. It reportedly happened again recently in Phoenix. A two-year-old boy died Friday night from a suspected fentanyl overdose. His father, 27-year-old Oswaldo Lozano, is now facing negligent homicide, child abuse, and drug possession charges for his role in his son's death. Frequently, people will pass out or be um, you know, minimally conscious when they're using, so it's very common for these pills to be left out. According to court documents, Lozano fell asleep while watching his son. When he woke up, he found his toddler on the ground with light blue M30 pills next to him. The two-year-old was barely breathing and unresponsive, even after Lozano gave him more than one round of Narcan and performed CPR. They kind of look like candy. Um, and if you know two-year-olds and three-year-olds, that's kind of how they learn. They take things that they see in their environment and put them in their mouth. Court documents say Lozano is an addict and takes fentanyl pills multiple times a day. Um, it is an illness. It can be treated. According to the Arizona Child Fatality Review Program, parents with a history of substance use was a risk factor in 98 of the 146 neglect abuse deaths in 2022. Last year, 34 Arizona children died from fentanyl poisoning, and eight of those kids were less than five years old. Kids sort of mimic their, their parents' behaviors, and when you have substances in the house, it just there's just more likelihood that that, that could end up in their child's, child's hands. The Arizona Child Fatality Review Program says the highest number of substance use related deaths last year were among teens ages 15 to 17. The second most impacted age group, children less than one year old. Guys. Thank you, Michaela. Well, the Biden